how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Why to be down here, Michael, on this Friday, fixing to be noon. It's 11:57 a.m. So uh, I ordered a couple things a few days ago, and uh, let's see what else I got in. We're gonna do a little unboxing. So yeah. We all like unboxings, right? I know I do. So guys, let's do a little unboxing here. How about that? This here uh, is a little something special I got for myself. Again, thank you Big J over at Big J's Knives. Many people do this whenever they first get their something, something, I won't tell you yet, but I've, I've been okay with what came with mine, but I thought, you know what, it's time, I want to go ahead and get some and uh, be a part of the crowd that, that christens his something with new something. Paper, man. I just wanted to get some new paper. Anywho, I got some new Evans drum heads. Uh, I think I, the only drum heads that the only middle about. The only drum heads that I got were the beater heads, the ones that you hit, not the resin heads that are on the bottom. I didn't get those, and I didn't get a new kick drum head because, uh, well, I didn't have enough money. So we got new uh, drum heads for the main beater heads on uh, all the drums. So. And this is to replace the stock, cheaper uh, heads that come on drums when you buy them. Like I bought, I bought a kit. And usually they're going to come with cheap drum heads. Uh, like, for instance, those are Pearl brand. Usually those are, you know, not great brands. You know, not a, a great drum head. They've been okay. I mean, it's not like I'm complaining, but... Anyway, we'll see how these do. Anyway, so yeah, uh, we'll see how these do. And uh, now we get a little something extra here. That's a rough looking package. I miss my old neighborhood. I think the old neighborhood, I, my packaging was always better. I question this neighborhood. It's a good neighborhood. It's just not as good a neighborhood as for work. More paper! Yay! So, the first thing I'll show you is uh, I got a nice long, nice long uh, USB extension cable, 3.0, nice braided casing. There's a word for it. I done forgot it. My brain went. Anyway, uh, nice quality looking cable. Michael, what is that for? Well, I got it for my web camera to move it out here where I can do some different shots and also to get it away from the speakers. That way I can have some music playing a little bit louder. Uh, I do music two ways. One, uh, I'm listening to it through the speakers and it goes into my web camera microphone, you know, like so, you know, and I can hear the music that I'm playing 
or when I'm doing videos like workout videos and stuff and, and you hear music sometimes I just put music over the video which means none of this really matters uh, I'm, I'm just choosing a song and putting it in there in the video as I edit it so but anyway a lot of times I like hearing music out here loud enough where I can enjoy but I can't do that and that's also with my drumming uh, whenever I turn the music up loud here, of course, it's going right into my microphone and everything's loud and distorted. So hopefully I can get that out here and kind of get that taken care of. So, got that. This here, I won't doubt that I'll end up having to send back. I'm going to try it and just see. Uh, it's boxed really neatly with no paperwork. Interesting. Um, like nothing. Just a plain old box, no paperwork or nothing. It's a charger. It's a battery charger. It comes with two batteries. It doesn't have great reviews, and I didn't notice that until after I purchased it, unfortunately. The reviews are not that great. But uh, it's a battery charger for my new action camera, my new uh, DJI action camera. We'll see how this does. I don't have high hopes for it, so I'll probably I, I can see me probably sending it back already. I don't know. Maybe I'll be one of the weird lucky ones that don't have any issues. Uh, I should have just ordered you know, one straight from DJI and but you know we're always trying to save a little bit of money. It just so happens I got a cord right here. So we'll see what that does. And I got two more things right here that I'm pretty excited about. Now honestly it's nothing I'm gonna just necessarily use. It's more for collecting. Uh, for those of you that know me and follow my channel, you know I collect action figures for Masters of the Universe, the Masterverse line of figures. Uh, but I also wanted to collect something else. And uh, I wanted to get some DVDs that I've been kind of wanting. The original... Shira television series from the 80s and this is the new uh, this is one of the new He-Man and the Masters of the Universe CGI animated shows for Netflix uh, it's over they're not making any more uh, they're not making any more uh, episodes or anything uh, unfortunately it ends with a cliffhanger like everything does but this was a good, uh, a pretty good rendition of the old show, and I enjoyed it. And I've actually watched it uh, front, to, you know, start to finish, probably three times now. And uh, it's interesting. And, and I got a little collection over here of some other Master of the Universe movies, and that's why I wanted to get these, just to have them and uh, to know I have them. And uh, Netflix also put out a new She-Ra series a couple of years back. Kind of controversial. There's a lot of, if, if you want to call it, wokeness in it. Uh, but it's actually really good if you get past some of that. Uh, it's actually really good. It has some really good writing. Uh, the animation's interesting. It, it's almost kind of like anime-ish, kind of, sort of, kind of. Uh, where everybody's got big eyes and big mouths, but 
it's uh, it has some good animation, some good drawings, some great writing, good storytelling and character development, and some different stuff. So that's why I liked it. And it's not they don't have it out yet. They have they only have the first three seasons out on a DVD, and I'd rather wait until they have a whole collection of it, and then I'll get it. So I'll eventually get that, and then I'll be uh, pretty set. So, anyway, um, I'm glad to have these finally, especially this. This is something I've been wanting forever, and uh, I'm not going to open them or anything. They're just going to be sitting on my shelf for a collection purpose. Uh, again, I don't really collect a, a lot of random crazy stuff, uh, but I did want to get these just for the purpose of, well, you know, I wanted to get this, and then I enjoyed this well enough that I thought, you know what, I want to collect that and get it and uh, have it in my collection. So, anyways, if you're interested in Master of the Universe or any of that kind of stuff, I urge you to give this one a try. Uh, it's basically, people call it the CGI uh, Master of the Universe on Netflix. So, I don't know why, but, or the kid version. But in reality, there's a, just because there's not a lot of, like, deaths and stuff like there is in the in the Masterverse, in the Revelation Revolution series, you know, uh, there's still some good, uh, some good moments in here, and uh, yeah, I recommend this one. So anyway, guys, I just got me a few goodies, and uh, you know, we all like to get some new stuff, and uh, and have some fun. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little unboxing. I hope my batteries work. I don't have high hopes. But we'll see how they do anyway. And uh, Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your goodies getting host. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!